people been criticized for sexism, for violence. I mean, Fortnite is a killer be killed game, but you made it cartoon style with bananas instead of blood. Much of the Fortnite team, uh, the core of it, uh, were the developers of Gears of War, which uh, no other weapons was a chainsaw that you used to chainsaw for creatures that had a shotgun on it, uh, you could use to shoot them too. Um, you know, a really bloody game. Uh, but, you know, these people, uh, compared to 20 years ago, uh, you know, they grew up, they had, they got married, they had kids, they started families, and uh, you know, I think a, a real part of the effort was uh, a desire to build a game uh, that everybody could play and that you didn't need to feel bad about um, when you're talking to your friends about what you do for a living. Um, and so you have a game that still it has guns because every game, just like every movie, every Shakespeare play, is in some sense about human conflict, right? And in a game, you know, this is just one way to conduct it. But I, I think Fortnite shows that you can have guns and a fun experience without blood, without death, you know, often you get teleported out of Fortnite um, when you're eliminated. Um, I think that it shows that you can, uh, there's a big spectrum of ways to present um, human conflict uh, that does not need to uh, you know, encourage violence or, uh, or bad behavior. So what is your vision for Epic? You know, what do you think the next big hit will be? Well, I think we're, we're seeing the birth of a new kind of entertainment experience, uh, which suggests that we might not just be moving from game to game and trying to create a hit uh, each time around, uh, but we might have you know, some games become a permanent part of uh, gaming and people's lives. Um, games like Fortnite and Minecraft and Roblox. You know, some of these, have, Minecraft has gone on for more than 10 years. Um, and uh, you know, I think that these might grow to the point where these games become platforms themselves. And it's very much what we're trying to do with Fortnite, to open it up so that anybody can build their own fun experiences in it. Fortnite Creative Mode is version one, but there's a whole lot more in the works. Um, and you know, we think if we can turn it into an outlet for everybody to create new experiences that still gel with the Fortnite world and art style, um, then you know, it could it could be a forever game, perhaps. Um, you know, in the same way that you don't ask, like, okay, uh, so what service are we going to move on to once email is no longer cool, right? So the vision is for Fortnite to last forever in some form. Yeah, quite possibly. Um, and if it's not Fortnite, if we fail in this effort, then I, I do believe that some games will succeed um, and that we'll see you know, a medium takeoff, which resembles the metaverse from science fiction more than it does resemble a traditional game, um, which is a constantly evolving online social experience for people that hosts vast amounts of user content from millions of people. Do you believe that we're living in some sort of simulation of someone else's mind? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. I, I don't know. It, it, that's always been a great mystery to me, um, the frontier of the laws of physics uh, versus our observation of reality and God and souls and all of these things. Um, it's, a, it's a great mystery, and uh, unfortunately, you don't find uh, out the answers until it's too late. Tim, thank you so much for joining us. Tim Sweeney, the founder and CEO of Epic Games. It's been wonderful to have you here on the show.